This is the second time I'm trying to do this. I don't feel like dragging out the ring light today. We're going to be talking about someone that you probably don't know, or if you do know, have not heard about this situation yet because, heaven forbid, a black, pe a black people, a black person be held accountable for anything wrong that they do. So we're, today we're going to be talking about um, Philip Adams. He was a football player person. Yes. Um, the other day, he became a mass murderer. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he, from what I read briefly in the articles that I read, he went to the house of these people and just started shooting them. And some articles say he killed five people, um, the doctor, his wife, their two grandchildren, and someone that was working in their yard. Other articles say he killed six because he shot someone and they are are or were in if they have passed in critical condition in the hospital um the doctor is dr robert i don't know how to say the last name i guess leslie l-e-s-s-l-i-e -S -S -E or whatever i know i spelt it wrong when i wrote it down because i like scratched it out five times trying to spell it right um and then his wife barbara their grandchildren ada and noah and their ages were nine and five that's that's not they they didn't live long enough at all um and the name of the guy that or the guys that he shot that weren't related to them were James Lewis and Robert Shook I can read my handwriting Robert Shook <clears throat> so I know I hate to make this about race because I know that that is a big issue right now but I know for a fact that if this had been a white man, it would just be um, handed over to racism. That he killed these people because of racism. But because he is black and an athlete. I just wanted to mention that this guy, the football player, was a patient of the doctor from what I read. So it's probably not uncommon that he knew where he lived. And this wasn't just some random incident. Okay, back to what I was saying. They're gonna see if he has um, this mental disorder that some athletes get. Ironic that they give him the, the courtesy of checking for that before they say what caused the incident. <clears throat> but it's CTE, I don't know necessarily what it stands for but I know that it's caused from getting too much uh, trauma to the head and it makes allegedly athletes violent for whatever reason I just think that it's ironic that um, he's skirting by the media uh, no one's talking about this I don't want to say that it's black because because he's black because I know not everything has to do with race unless you make it about race or if it's because he's an athlete and rich and he can just well he can't afford anything now he killed himself after killing all these people which is unfortunate as well all right I wanted to say one more thing I don't want to chalk it up just to it being about race because obviously if he killed himself after there's something more to the situation um, I don't think anybody kills themselves just for fun, even if it is to get out of a situation they know they're guilty of, because it takes a lot of nerve and courage to end your own life, or that, or desperation. But we'll never know because now we can't ask him. But why do cases not get equal media coverage dependent on the race of the perpetrator? That's so unfair. Like, when... I talked about this in the video I made about BLM a few months ago. When George Floyd was killed. Allegedly. <clears throat> um, so was uh, a man, a white man named Tony Tempa. No one knows who that is. Nobody knows. And he was killed in the same manner that George Floyd was 
again, allegedly. But nobody cares because he's white. If anybody's out to get anybody, it is society out to get white people over God knows what because slavery stopped so long ago and you guys are the only ones keeping yourself in this oppressed victimhood. If you live in America, you have every opportunity available to you. You're the one that's too lazy to take advantage of it. And then when stuff like this happens, you get away with it because everybody feels bad for you for thinking that you're less than you are when God created you to live a life of abundance through Jesus. Like, why, why bow down to the media? Why bow down to society when they only want the worst for you? Instead of bowing down to God that wants the best for you. I don't get it. I think that things like this should get equal coverage. And I think he killed himself so he wouldn't have to either face the consequences or whatnot. Um, I have really no sympathy for people who kill other people because it's not our place to take life. Or give life. God is the author and the finisher of life. And that is why a lot of Christians are against abortion. Because it's not our place to create a life and then uh, destroy it unfairly. I don't know. It's just, this is just something that's bugging me that nobody seems to care about. The media is not talking about I only saw this on Instagram. So I don't know why nobody's talking about this. Is it because we're too focused on Derek Chauvin or whatever his name is getting acquitted? I certainly hope he does. Just so I can rub it in your face because it's going to feel so good. So good it's going to feel so good to rub that in your face. Also the official police images or whatever that were released showed his knee on George Floyd, George Floyd's back. I can talk I promise. Um. So, what leg do you guys have left to stand on? And the answer is none. And you're going to make up something so that when it happens, when he gets acquitted, you're going to make something else up. I don't know. What's wrong with what's wrong with you guys? Why are you guys like this? Who hurt you that you think that the way you're acting right now is okay? Because it's not. I can tell you. I can tell you for a fact that if roles were reversed and white people were acting like you're acting right now, this would have been shut down so long ago, it wouldn't, we wouldn't even have time to have got the first fire started before it was shut down. Remember, you guys remember when, when Chaz was a thing, that, that whatever was going on in Oregon when they took over all that territory? That, list, that lasted n n not even a week, I think. Maybe two weeks at most. But that was shut down. That was shut by a white man. Um... I only made this video to bring light to the situation because I think it's unfair that these innocent people died. And no one's talking about them. I don't even know what race they are, honestly. But I guarantee that if they're white, that's why. No one's talking about them. Um, all I can say is stop believing what you read and look up things for yourself. You'd be surprised how much you don't know that you don't know until you do know it. Hopefully that made sense. Uh, yeah, this is probably going to be my <laughs> shortest video ever. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you're going to get mad at anything I said, take it somewhere else. I don't have time for that. I really don't care what you have to say. This is my channel with my raw opinions. And if you don't want my raw opinions, don't watch my videos. That's simple. Okay, you guys have a great night. Um, yep. Alright, if you stay to the end to see this part, I... Uh, why? <laughs> um, you know how I, this is about three days after filming the original part I don't know why it's taking me three days to upload it I'm just lazy honestly you know how I said that they were going to find someone else to make the target or not the target like the face of BLM after the George Floyd trial um, was settled I was right except for it happened sooner than I thought What's okay? if you don't know there was a young man his name is, I don't want to say it wrong, Dante, Duante, right? I'm going to put his picture right here um, with his name because I more than likely said it wrong. He was shot by a cop 
And in this case, I do kind of agree with them. How do you mistake a taser for a gun? They're not even shaped the same. They're not even shaped the same. If you can't, if you can't carry a gun and a taser and not mistake them, maybe you really don't need to carry both. But I also know that he had a warrant out for his arrest and he's been on the run since fe about February of either this year or last year. And he wasn't pulled over for air freshener like everyone says. He was pulled over for an expired registration on his car he was driving and it just kind of escalated from there. Literally every death that has happened could be avoided if these people would stop resisting arrest. But police officers could also get better funding if we would stop defunding, or better funding, I'm so dumb. Better training if we would quit defunding the police because it takes money to train police officers. So if anything, we should give them more money for better training and less incidents like this will happen and when they do happen we'll have a more clear way of telling if it was with alternative motives or something but no we, c we can't ever take the easy route to solving a problem always the most difficult and most costly this is ridiculous a year of this garbage and you guys still think you're right it needs to end soon Ten people died the other night at the riot that you guys had in Michigan. Which is ironic because you're protesting death by police officer. Brutality, police brutality, that's like the whole thing. So why would you be protesting dying innocently and then let ten people get killed at a riot? You guys are so inconsistent. inconsistent. I can't even talk. I was going to say goodbye. I just think it's ridiculous that this is still going on. I think the life we were used to is gone. We're not ever going to go back to normal before COVID, before all this BLM stuff started. That life is gone. And this is our, I hate this phrase, our new normal is chaos.